Hello there guys and welcome back to another review and today I am super excited to take a look at this. This is the Collector 2019 Deluxe 120 Scale Elasmotherium. Now Elasmotherium, which name means Thin Plate Beast, is a genus of large rhino that lived in the middle to late Pleistocene epoch 2.6 to 36,000 years ago in what is now Eastern Europe, Western Siberia, and Central Asia. Now, it was up to 4.5 meters long, a shoulder height of around 2 meters, and 3.6 to 4 tons in weight. Now, no horn of this animal has ever been found, but it has been inferred by cave paintings, which show a large single horn on its snout, as well as a large boss on the snout and evidence of blood vessels associated with the area of the rostrum, so around here. Now, three species are known across Europe, Siberia, and Asia, uh, but this model is based on Elasmotherium sibiricum, which is one of the larger species. So yeah, when we first saw images of this guy, it looked really, really awesome. And when we finally saw in hand images of the size of this thing, I mean, it just blew everyone away. And it has blown me away as well. I mean, this thing is huge. It's heavy as well. It's really heavy. Everyone remember that um, old Schleich mammoth that was very heavy? Yeah, well, this is exactly the same. So whatever you do, do not drop it, especially that way with the horn pointing down to your toes. Because believe me, you will feel it because this thing is sharp as well. But, yeah, this thing is absolutely enormous. But I'll go on, on about that later. But first of all, let's take a look at this head sculpt. The head sculpt is fantastic. We have a nice black glossy eye. You can see all the fur detail around the head and also around the mouth here, like the little lips as well. That's been really nicely picked out and detailed. There's like a some gloss here on the nose to make it like a nice wet sheen. You have the enormous nose horn here, and it has actually got a bit of weathering on there, some nice browns along with the grey, so that looks very nice. Of course, here's the other side. Got the small ears on the top, more of that amazing fur detail. And the rest of the body is covered in this incredible fur detail. The, there's a darker patch of brown along the back of the animal, with the lighter brown along the rest of the body. And as you can see, the feet here, it's sort of in like a trotting pose, kind of like a horse, as you can see. These guys lived on the steppe, along with mammoths and all sorts of other Ice Age creatures, so would have fed on a lot of the grasses that were around at that time. Underneath, got more detail, especially on the underside of the feet, They're very nicely picked out. It says here, Elasmotherium Collector. Uh, 2018, so this was sculpted in 2018, but wasn't released until 2019. And even underneath you can see a lot of this wonderful detail. And they've got the, the hooves here, the nails as well. And we have the tail which has curled up the top, and we also have the tuft at the end. Yeah, this, this figure is enormous. I mean, it's heavy and... I mean, you can really feel the size of this thing. I, mean, I don't know why they have made it so big, but it's a very imposing piece. Very imposing. And also, just uh, the, the fur detail is absolutely amazing. I mean, it really does look shaggy. This long, shaggy hair to help it within the Ice Age. Now, I believe it is a male, but as there is no genitalia sculpted on here, I'm not certain. But I'm just going to guess because of the enormous size of this animal and also the horn, I'm going to guess it's a male. And just for comparison, here it is next to a, a couple of contemporaries. Here is the Papo Woolly Rhino. I mean, you can just see off the bat that this thing is dwarfs all other prehistoric mammal models, except for probably like some of the mammoths. But, yeah, I mean, this is the Papa Woolly Rhino. I mean, you can just see the size difference. I mean, this thing is enormous. And then we have, from this year, the 2019 Safari Woolly Rhino. And, yeah, this, this is a gargantuan piece. Very, very impressive. 
I will leave a link to the Woolly Rhino review in the description box below. So please go and uh, check that out. So, yeah, I mean, if you have space for this figure, I highly recommend it. Uh, and also, as I say again, do not drop it. I, I mean it, do not drop this figure. Because it will hurt a lot. <laughs> so, so yeah, I, mean, I highly recommend this figure, as I said, if you have space. Um, it's an imposing piece. It would definitely be uh, something that uh, people will look at and be like, wow, that thing looks amazing, especially with this horn, as it has been referred to as the Siberian Unicorn for its enormous nose horn. But yeah, I, as I, said, I highly recommend you guys pick this up. I will leave a link to Everything Dinosaur in the description box below where I picked this figure up, along with the other figures that I have shown in the review here. So please go and check them out. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this review. Please like, comment, subscribe. Uh, next review, I will be taking a look at the Stegosaurus from Safari and the Camarasaurus by Safari. Uh, so look out for those very soon. So please look out for them coming soon. And I will see you guys in the next review. Please take care and have a great day. Bye.